What's going on, everybody? And I hope you're enjoying your Monday morning so far, and you had a phenomenal weekend. This is NYG Jeffy T85 here, and I'm going to talk about the New York Giants already getting the offseason kicked off and the team signing 10 players to reserve future contracts, which means when we get to minicamp, OTAs, training camp, and preseason, all these guys are going to have an opportunity to go out there and see if they can make the New York Giants roster by, you know, good play, showing something, as well as development, going to the offseason. And these 10 players that were signed to reserve future contracts are defensive tackle Vernon Butler, running back Ja'Shawn Corbin, offensive tackle Corey Cunningham, offensive tackle Devery Hamilton, defensive backs Zion Gilbert and Trenton Thompson, and wide receivers Jadon Mickens, Dre Miller, Khalil Pimpleton, and Makai Polk. Now I'll start off with Vernon Butler. Vernon Butler has pretty much been part of the NFL. He got, he got drafted by the Carolina Panthers all the way back in 2020, uh, 2016. <laughs> and really, he pretty much bounced around between the Panthers and the Bills from 2016 till 2021. And he was eventually signed by the New York Giants practice squad back in 2022, where he was eventually played called up to the roster at least one time, but he never really got not he never really uh, played a whole lot with the New York Giants. So he was pretty much just called up to the team for one game, and that's really all he did in terms of like you know his overall play with the New York Giants. So he's really he's really just a depth defensive tackle. See if the New York Giants might want to get anything out of him. But we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen with Vernon Butler. I like Vernon Butler. He's been a solid player in the NFL. But I don't know how far it's going to go with Butler. But I would not mind if he's part of the team going forward. We'll have to wait and see. He's a, he's a he's good, solid depth at the defensive tackle position. Now also, Jay Sean Corbin, who the Giants signed as an undrafted free agent after the NFL draft this past season. He was pretty much their fourth or fifth running back on the team. He obviously came from Florida State from the team, 5'11", 203 pounds overall. He didn't record any stats or didn't play in any games with the New York Giants this past season. He was mostly just designated on the practice squad. So he's really not a guy that the Giants really, you know, they didn't really need him because of the fact that the team had a lot of good depth on the te on the offensive line and then on the running back position, so... Deshaun Corbin, going to get another year of seasoning. Going to have to see what he's going to do for this team going forward. But either way, <laughs> I'm happy to see Deshaun Corbin come back. He's good depth, and you never know if this guy might get an opportunity going forward. Corey Cunningham is another player that the Giants brought back. This is actually the second stint with Corey Cunningham. He was originally an undrafted free agent signed by the Arizona Cardinals back in 2018. He also had stints with the New England with the uh, New England Patriots all the way back in 2019 and 2020. He was signed originally by Joe Judge in 2020 2021 at the defensive tackle position and an offensive tackle. They actually started him at defensive tackle, then he converted to the offensive tackle position. Only played and he played in 12 games overall with Joe Judge's team, obviously due to injuries to Matt Parrott and Andrew Thomas, and then he was signed eventually to the Giants practice squad. And he was actually signed to uh, the Giants team in the offseason, but he was cut after final cuts came around. But Corey Cunningham brings some depth to the roster, and he's also a guy that's going to help out in terms of, you know, development. So I don't mind, I don't mind at all with Corey Cunningham coming back. He's a, he's a decent player. But we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen with Corey Cunningham and if he can maybe get one, you know, catch on as a backup player with the New York Giants at the offensive tackle position going forward. Now we're talking about Zion Gilbert, six foot, one hundred ninety three pound, undrafted free agent for the New York Giants from Florida Atlantic, <laughs> and he's had a couple of opportunities with the Giants. We're actually played in three games overall with New York where he started in one game, and he recorded 10 tackles for with 10 tackles overall, 
14 combined. He had four assisted, 10 solo. He had one sack in his in, in his three games overall too. He's more of a guy that the Giants can bring in as a backup player, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Gilbert is more of like a developmental backup cornerback, so we're not going to go crazy when it comes to Zion Gilbert. But at the same time, he's got some talent. Giants fans, including myself, actually really liked what he brought to the table. But we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen with him. We are. Have to wait and see. Now, Devery Hamilton, the offensive tackle the Giants signed also in free agency around July. He's pretty much played a guard, tackle. He actually had himself a very solid training camp and preseason overall. At one point, it's a possibility he could have started at guard due to injury to Bredesen, Ben Bredesen, due to injuries to Nick Gates, Shane Lemieux. So, Devery Hamilton had an opportunity to just get signed as a potential starter on the offensive line at the offensive guard position. <laughs> He actually ended up playing in, 90, in nine games overall for the Giants before he was eventually waived and put back onto the practice squad overall. So, have to see how Devery Hamilton is going to be able to factor into things going forward for the Giants and if, in fact, Devery Hamilton might be able, as, long, as well as Corey Cunningham, snatch onto this roster as maybe a depth offensive lineman, whether it's at the guard position or the tackle position going into 2023. Now I'm going to talk about Jadon Mickens. Jadon Mickens was originally an undrafted free agent signed by the Jacksonville Jaguars back in, 2020, back in 2017. He's pretty much been known as a returner overall, but he has had some moments to be able to be... He's also had some moments as a receiver, too. Overall, he's had 69 return yards in terms of punt returns, 69 returns for 581 yards to total, and one touchdown. As well, he's had 35 returns as a kick returner for 811 yards and no touchdowns. <laughs> Not really known as a receiver as much, I mean, he has played in 38 games overall in his career with, fifth, with three starts, 15 receptions, 145 yards, and two touchdowns overall. Jadon Mickens is more of a reserve. You know, he's more of a project, if anything, at the wide receiver position. So, I'm not expecting a whole lot with uh, Jadon Mickens, but at the same time, we'll have to see what's going to happen with him going forward. But either way... <laughs> Jadon Mickens is going to be more of maybe a guy you want to try out. Jadon Mickens is a guy you want to try out more as a potential uh, returner, if anything. I don't think he's going to really factor in as a receiver at all. We'll have to wait and see. Andre Miller. Andre Miller. The wide receiver turned tight end out of Maine. 6'3", 229 pounds. We all... We're liking what we were seeing from Andre Miller back in the training camp of preseason. He looked like a guy that could have potentially been a weapon in this offense. But unfortunately, he suffered a wrist injury during training camp. And he ended up missing all that rest of the time. I think you believe he broke his wrist. And he ended up missing a whole bunch of time during training camp of preseason. Eventually, the Giants just let him go in an injury settlement. <laughs> He is only 24 years old. I think this guy has an opportunity to maybe be a potential factor for the New York Giants going forward. So, I like what I see from Dre Miller. Andre Miller can be a player that I would like to see uh, the Giants give a true shot to, especially at the tight end position. So, I hope, I hope to see... Andre Miller become a factor for this team somehow, some way in the offseason. Then we're talking about Khalil Pimpleton, who was Mr. Hard Knocks. Mr. Hard Knocks played in the USFL. A lot of people like this kid as an undrafted free agent out of Central Michigan who was 24 years old, 5'9, 179 pounds for the Detroit Lions. He was a guy that pretty much was known for his return game overall. But he 
is a dynamic returner, much like Dallas Cowboys had. Like Dallas Cowboys had with Cavante Turpin. That's exactly what you had with Khalil Pippleton in training camp and preseason with the Detroit Lions before Detroit eventually let him go and the Giants brought him onto the roster during uh, after tra- after um, training camp and preseason came to an end. Giants signed him on, but he was pretty much just on the practice squad developing the entire time. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with him as well. The Giants got a lot of young talent that they're going to try to go out there and develop. They do. A lot of promising young players that we're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen with them going forward. <laughs> and another player, I'm going to say the same thing, Makai Polk, an undrafted free agent signed by the by um <laughs> uh, 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 Makai Polk was originally an undrafted free agent and he's 21 years old, 6'3", 197 pounds, out of Mississippi State. I remember watching this kid. He looked like a kid that had some potential to be able to maybe make an impact, but never really got an opportunity. He does got good size. He's good down the field. He can be a wide receiver that you send deep and make him into a dynamic player on the outside. Curious to see if the Giants, like they're going to give him an opportunity in training camp preseason to maybe win one of those reserve spots at the wide receiver position along with an Isaiah Hodgins, along with, you know, a Colin Johnson that they bring him back. So Makai Polk along with Makai Polk along with um, Khalil Pimpleton and Jadon Mickens have an opportunity to maybe steal one of those backup wide receiver spots. And then the last one on the list, Trenton Thompson. Trent Thompson is a defensive back for the New York Giants. He pretty much was on. He was he, he was another player that the Giants signed immediately after the draft finit concluded. He's pretty much is a guy that came out of San Diego State. So came from Georgia originally, but then he transferred over, I believe, to San Diego State for his te- for the um. And then he was eventually signed by the New York Giants right after the draft. Six foot player, about two hundred. About Trent, he was six foot player, about two hundred plus pounds at the safety position. I believe he got a couple of opportunities with the New York Giants at, at um the defensive back position. So, Trent Thompson, good defensive back. Curious to see what he's gonna be able to do <laughs> in terms of getting his opportunities as well. Never really got a call up to the main roster, but I liked what Trent Thompson brought to the table. He's 6'1", 196 pounds, so I was wrong about that. San Diego State Aztec, 25 years old, though. He's an older player going to his second year. But he showed some solid bowl instincts. Either way, the Giants have signed 10 players to reserve future contracts, and all 10 of these guys are going to have an opportunity to make their mark with this team in 2023 potentially and try to sneak their way onto the roster. We'll have to wait and see. This is the beginning of the offseason. Anything is possible now. Giants are going to have to try to put together, you know, a bunch of players. They're going to be scouting, looking over, free agency, trades, all that kind of stuff. Draft scouting, all that is starting up now. Curious to see what the Giants are going to do next, including free agents that I'm going to be talking about variously throughout the entire season. I'll be highlighting some draft prospects that I'm looking at who I'd like to see the Giants potentially sign. Maybe I'll do mock drafts while I have to wait and see. But either way, thank you very much for watching this video. The Giants have signed 10 players to reserve future contracts. Vernon Butler, defensive tackle. Running back to Sean Corbin, offensive lineman Corey Cunningham and Devery Hamilton, defensive back Zion Gilbert and Trenton Thompson, and wide receivers Jadon Mickens, Andre Miller, Khalil Pimpleton, and Mackay B- P- M- Polk. Thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Take it easy and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these 10 players signed to reserve future contracts. And let's go, New York football giants. Just because the season's over, unfortunately, doesn't mean the work won't keep going. We have an offseason to plan, free agent signings, draft picks, players to still be signed after the draft. Got a lot more work to do. Let's go, New York giants. Together, blue, everyone.